morning students, this is Mr. Jason Dulosa, your teacher for this day. Welcome to my first flip classroom. The purpose of this flip classroom is to help my students understand my lesson in easier way. For this day, our first topic is all about zeros of the quadratic function and the y-intercept. But before we continue our lesson, let us first define the term zeros and the y-intercept. Zeros are the points where the graph passes through the y, the x-axis. While the y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the y-intercept. These points where the graph crosses the x-axis are called zeros and also called x-intercept. In this case, our x-intercepts are negative 3, 0 and 3, 0. And our y-intercept is 0, negative 27. By the way, this graph is the graph of y is equal to 3x squared minus 27 and we call this parabola. Again, when we say zeros, it is the points where the graph crosses the x-axis while the y-intercept is the point where the graph crosses the x, sorry, the y-axis. The y-axis. Magpapansin nyo, kapag x-intercept, your y-value or y-coordinate is zero. And for y-intercept, your x-coordinate is zero. My question now, pwede ba nating masolve or makana ang tinatawag natin zeros or x-intercept and y-intercept na hindi tayo nag-drop? Sa palagay nyo, pwede ba? Siyempre, pwede. Ito ngayon ang paraan kung paano natin solve ang tinatawag na x-intercept and y-intercept. Let us, put it, uh, let us consider our first example. Our first example is y is equal to 3x squared minus 27. Let us solve for the so-called x-intercept or the zeros. Step 1. You equate the quadratic function to 0 or you change y to 0. After changing y to 0, our equation would be 3x squared minus 27 equals 0. Step 2, solve for the roots. And this root is also called zeros and y, f, and x intercept. Using most appropriate method, in this case, the most appropriate is the so-called extracting the square root. So we need to apply the addition property of equality, adding both sides positive 27. So our resulting equation would be 3x squared is equal to 27. Then dividing both sides by 3, our resulting equation would be x squared equals 9. Then extracting the square root, our x is plus or minus 3. And this will be our zeros. Notice, this one is our x-intercept in after the given graph. Notice also get or arrive on the same value of x. At ang tawag dito ay zeros at tinatawag din siya x-intercept. Ngayon naman, kung kakanapin ang pinangawag natin y-intercept. Kung sa x-intercept ang sinisiro natin ay y, sa y-intercept naman ang sinisiro natin ay at i x. Sabi nga dito, assuming the, assume the x, assume x is equal to 0. So y is equal to 3x squared minus 27. Assuming that x is 0, therefore y is equal to 3 times the product of 0 squared minus 27. And this is 0, y is equal to negative 27. Notice the value of y here is negative 27, and this negative 27 is our y intercept. At kung mapalagyan natin ang graph, yun talaga ang ating pinakawag na y intercept. Okay, one more. Examples, let us consider our item number 2. And this item number 2, what we have is, y is equal to x squared minus 11x plus 18. Again, step 1, we change y to 0. Then appropriate the, use the appropriate method to solve for x or for the roots. Notice the most appropriate 
is by factoring. So factoring this, so our factors would be x minus 9 and x minus 2. Applying the so-called zero product property, therefore the values of x are 9 and 2. And these 9 and 2 are our are zeros of the quadratic function. So let us now solve for the y-intercept. Changing x to 0, notice our y is 18. So our third example, let us consider this. Notice, what we have is y plus 4 is equal to the positive x plus 3 squared. Changing y to 0, notice, mawawala na lang yan, so equals 4. Because 4 plus 0 is still 4. Applying the extra in the square root again, x plus 3 is equal to plus or minus 2 because the square root of 4 is plus or minus 2. Then, again, applying the addition property of equality, adding negative 3 on both sides, so we have x is equal to negative 3 plus or minus 2. Notice we can combine this, pero meron tayong dalawang operation. So let us first consider the first operation which is the addition. If 2 is positive, so therefore negative 3 plus 2 is negative 1. And this will be our first 0 or first x-intercept. Let us now solve for the negative part of our 2. So, taking negative 2, negative 3 minus 2, our next x-intercept is negative 5. So, our zeros or x-intercepts are negative 1 and negative 5. For our y-intercept, let us change x to 0. 0 plus 3 is 3, 3 squared is 9. Again, apply the addition property of equality, plus negative 4 plus negative 4 to our y is equal to 5. Papansin nyo, nahanap natin ang x and y intercepts na hindi tayo nagkada. Maraming salamat sa inyo na why meron kayong natutunan sa araw na ito. Magandang umaga muli mga studyante.